everyone. So in this episode today, we are just going to have some fun playing in Photoshop. I love to sometimes take a interesting little image and create a beautiful winter scene. So I thought I'd walk you through some easy steps that you can do something like this, um, maybe on a cold winter day where you want to play around with an old image. So this was actually a cell phone shot that I took when I was out at a nature park. I just loved this sweet little old um, cabin and the wattle fence. And so I wanted to play with this one today. So let's jump in. First thing I'm going to do is duplicate my layer. Now I do want to crop part of this image. Now I brought the image straight into Photoshop. I have not um, done anything in Lightroom with the image. I just came straight here with it from my photos library. All right, so I just wanted to straighten up that house a little bit. Now, the next thing I want to do is some cleanup. So I'm going to go to the handy remove tool and I want to get rid of just some of these some of these things that are distracting and I want to work on this window. So I'm hoping the remove tool will help get rid of some of those details so that um, almost want to black out this window but I think it will be better if we can get the remove tool to do it. So that's not too bad. Let's get rid of some of that light. All right, that's pretty nice. There's still a little something like a red cone right there. I'm going to try to get rid of that. And there's something sticking out right here. I think it was a light. All right, I haven't decided about the... Um, the wagon, I may cover it up with snow anyway, so I'm just going to leave it for now. So I think that's got our cleanup really solid. So the next thing I like to do is use a color lookup. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate another layer, and I'm going to go ahead and call this color lookup. Um, well, actually, it's going to create a layer for us. So let's come down and um, go ahead and do a... Um, color lookup adjustment layer. So it's going to create it for us. And what it does is pop up this menu right here. And so you can now go and select one of these. Now, one that I like to use to convert um, day to night is this night from day one. And then you can drop the opacity. And so that just kind of gives us a muted look. There's also an option to do the moonlight. And let's raise the opacity. You can see the difference in that one. I think this gives it a nice kind of winter look. Um, there's also kind of drop the blues. There's crisp winter look. So let's try that one. Now that's really bright. I'm not, I'm not liking that. That's definitely not the look that I want. There's also candlelight, and that's not bad. Let's raise it up. You can see that's just kind of muting everything. So I think I'm going to go back to the moonlight. I want to bring that blue tones in. I want to give this a real winter scene. Okay, so the next thing that I need to address are all these leaves and I really want to bring in some snow. So an easy way to do that is to use an overlay. Now you could use AI if you're into that, but I have some overlays that I have purchased. You could also go out to a stock site and get an image. Um, Upsplash is a great resource, but I have this dreamy winter set. And so I'm just going to drag this image over. Now it comes over really small, but I'm going to go ahead and transform it. And I'm going to make it pretty big so that it comes over the grass area. I'm going to stretch it all the way up and click enter or the checkbox to transform. And now what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and lower the opacity. Now we can see our house. I'm going to lower it some more. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a mask, grab a brush, and I want to bring back, of course, our cabin. And let me take the opacity now back up. There we go. So I'm going to make the brush smaller and just going to bring back some of these details, of course. Now, what I like to do is at 100% opacity, I'll bring these back, and then I'm going to go over the edges so that it's not so um, obvious, because um, right now you can see the definite lines. All right, so we're going to flip it to white. I'm going to lower the opacity to about 50%, 
And now I'm going to come back around these edges and bring back yeah, some of that snow. I'm going to take it up to maybe 75%. And I'm going to cover up that wagon. I wasn't sure. And I may just go ahead and remove this guy. Let's go ahead and take it to 100%. Just fill that in with some snow. I'm going to go around this grass. And then let's take it back down to about 50. And with a larger brush, I'm just going to kind of pop so we get a little bit of that snow that's blown up around the house, the edges, just to keep it really um, natural looking. And we'll come around here. And then I'm going to flip it, make the brush smaller, and just again bring out a little bit more detail on that chimney. Right, right there, just a little bit more. Okay, so that's the next stop. Using that overlay was just perfect for this image. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the opacity up some more. You have to kind of pull back and look at it and get a nice nice look for your edges. I think that's the most important part um, to deal with. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is bring some life to this. So I'm going to go ahead and do a stamped layer, Command Option Shift and the letter E. That gives me a blank layer now that I can work from. And I wanna to go to my color palette and I'm gonna go down to the kind of warm orange tones. I wanna to add some light in the windows. So I'm gonna click OK. And we've got our brush. I'm going to start at maybe about 50%. And I'm just going to come in and pop some light in these windows. And so now what I'm going to do is take the opacity down. There we go. And I really want the light to be stronger, I think, at the top. So what I'm gonna do is get a mask and I'll flip the brush to black. And I'm just gonna take some of that off on the bottom. So as if the light was up here, I can even soften some of the light. And um, then I can turn the opacity back up if I wanna make it a little bit, little bit brighter. So I'm gonna flip the, um, I'm going to grab this color picker and get that, let me get back on the layer, grab that yellow color, kind of that gold, grab my brush again, really low opacity, and I'm just going to pop some more on, and a little bit kind of spilling out the window. Let's take the opacity up. So this is where I just kind of do that dance of painting. I am playing with the opacity um, to just get it get it right. Go over it kind of a couple times until I get it get it the way I want it. I want it to be subtle, but I also want it to kind of stand out. So I think I need to go get a brighter gold color. Let's get something a little brighter, and I'm going to take the opacity way down. Come in with it just pop it again. So that's how I paint windows. I just get it, um, just keep until it looks pretty natural. A little bit more overflow in the cabin. All right, next thing I want to do is add some smoke coming out of the chimney. So to do that, um, let's go ahead and do another stamped layer, Command Option Shift and the letter E. When I'm working with images like this, as I go, I do prefer to do a stamped layer so it's all clean, ready to go. Now I'm just going to grab white paint and my brush. I've got the opacity pretty low and I am just going to start popping out as if there was some smoke. And I like to use a low opacity so I can go over it multiple times and not have to go back and erase it. So I want it to just kind of come up and meander through 
the sky. Heavier at the bottom, of course, and having that kind of come up. You can also get smoke overlays that you can add, but I find using um, the brush works really nicely. And then you can also change your opacity. If you feel like it's too bright, you can also change your blend mode. So we don't want to change the whole layer. So you do have to be mindful of that. Um, I do kind of like what hard light um, is doing to it. And then there's, of course, multiply. Um, it's very interesting because it's doing it to the whole image. Um, that's an interesting effect. And then we can lower we can lower that effect. But that is making it kind of really look woodsy and um, interesting there. Now for my snow, I'm going to raise the opacity. I want to bring that a little bit more a little bit more prominent so let's take the opacity up and pop it in get that snow going through there not snow sorry smoke I think I was liking it before. So let me go back a couple steps. Let's go back to here. Yeah, I was liking that look. So I think what I want to do is keep that. I'm going to make a copy of this layer. Now I'm going to change the blend mode to that multiply. There we go. And then I'm going to lower that opacity down. I like that a lot better. And that's still got my warmth down here, my snow. And I actually I'm going to apply a mask and flip it to black. And I'm going to take off. You can see how it's put that multiply around here. And I don't want it, I don't want it all the way on this to make it super dark. So I'm just going to mask that off. But let's lower the opacity of that. I want it right in between. There we go. So it's got a little bit of moodiness, but it's also got, I like how it darkened the trees and just giving us that, um, that smoke and that kind of natural, natural look. So you can see it without, it's a little bright. I like the, the contrast with it. Bring that, bring that in. Now, I think I'd really like to add a matte effect to this. So I'm going to go do a curves adjustment. And with that, um, what I'm going to do, let me make this bigger so you can see it. I'm going to raise the blacks up. That softens the blacks. And then I'm going to lower the whites. And that's going to just give it kind of that matte, matte winter look. Now, I also think that I want to add some more blue tones to it. I don't think it's quite as um, blue as I would like. So I think actually I'm going to add a gradient and I want to do, I want to do a blue. Let's try one of these dark ones and click OK. I like that kind of in the sky, but I don't like it everywhere else. Um, so let me turn that off and let's actually go pick a color. Just have to kind of have to just kind of play with things. All right, I've selected the gradient. Well, we need to be on a layer, don't we? So let's go back and do a stamped layer. Command Option Shift E. Now we can come up, add that gradient, and I need to change the color. So we have to click on that color, do something really um, winter blue. Now 
going to change both. Maybe a darker blue. There we go. I like that. All right, I think that's nice and we could blend it a little bit. That's giving us that nice um, warmth in there. So I think that works. And I think somehow my brightness in here changed. So I um, have to kind of look back in the steps. It may have been with the curves. So this is where you can continue to tweak. Um, so at this point, if I wanted to bring a little bit more of that back, I think my smoke is a little bright. I'm going to go ahead and do a stamped layer. And if I want to flip this back, grab my brush and take the opacity down and maybe just pop. Oh, you can see that's bright, but then we can just lower our opacity. Still give it that kind of brightness. All right, and then Command Shift Option E again, and I'm going to go to Filter. Now I need the artistic filter, so I'm going to go over to Image Mode, and I'm going to make it an 8 bits image, which just allows me to use the artistic features here in Photoshop. So now I'm going to go to Artistic, and um, for this, actually I want to do Texture. I'm going to hit grain. It's going to open the texturizer. And the one that I love, you can use grain. You can see what it does to it. It just makes it look like a painting. I think it gives it the final look that it needs. I've got the intensity at 25, contrast of 50. And I really, really like that effect. So I'm going to click OK. It may be um, fairly noticeable to you guys. Whoops, let me undo that yellow spot. I don't know if you can see. Turn up the brightness a little bit. It just gives it a little bit of texture. Now, one last thing I can do, I do have an action that I have several actions that apply snow and different things. So I'm going to see what happens if I apply some additional flurries. And yeah, I can see those. Let's see before and after. Now that really makes it look like a winter scene and I think does give it a nice effect. I'm going to lower the opacity on it just a little bit there for the final touch. So I think this turned out really, really fun and nice considering what the scene looked like before. And let's go all the way back in our history to our before image. Look at that. And with just really a few steps, some painting, using an overlay, which again, you can find online, um, really made a big impact. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will include some links in the description to some of my favorite places to get snow, um, actions, overlays, and all of those fun winter things. Thanks so much.